Hello friends, this video on light part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from... So now let us look at the image formation by eye. How exactly image formation takes place inside our eye. Now as I said, image is formed on the retina and what kind of... So th let us suppose this is the object we are looking at. So this is the object. So the first image is formed on the retina and the image which is formed is going to be real and inverted because the lens which is the eye lens which is present that forms real and inverted image. So how, will, how the image becomes erect by the brain. So when it goes the, the real and inverted image goes to through the optical nerve to the brain and then the brain perceives it in the right way. Now. The focal length of the eye lens is varied by the ciliary muscles in such a way that the image is formed on the retina. So let us look at the ray diagram for a distant object. So in this case, we are trying to view something which is located at a distant point, very far object. So in that case, these parallel rays of light are the incident rays. They come, they reach the uh, lens. This is the lens. Now from the lens, they tend to converge because this is a conver convex lens. And finally, they converge at a point on the retina. So this is the point where an inverted and real image is formed. Similarly, what happens when we are looking at a, a nearby object? In that case, let us say we are trying to look at this object. This is the object. So from here, you see incident rays of light come. They pass through the lens and they again converge at a point on the retina and here image is formed. So here also you see where is the image forming? The point where the reflected rays meet. So here in this case, since we are talking about lens, so refraction take place. Now, we have not discussed refraction in this lesson, so I will not get into the detail of that. But here also where the refracted rays meet, there the image is formed. So here image is formed. So that's how the concept is quite simple. Retina is nothing but the screen where image will be formed and the rays will undergo refraction by the eye lens. And then we know where depending on the location of the object, the image will be formed. Power of accommodation. So power of accommodation is nothing but the ability of adjustment of the eye lens. Now I have mentioned before right that the eye lens it can adjust its focal length and who will help in adjusting the focal length? The ciliary muscles which are attached to the eye lens. Now how much it can adjust so that the images are formed on the retina because the images which the eye is seeing they are located at different positions. Some of them might be very near, some of them might be very far away. So how much adjustment the eye lens can do that is known as the power of accommodation. So when we look at a distant object, so if you see here what happens in that case, the ciliary muscles here, so where do you have the ciliary muscles? These are the ciliary muscles and this is the lens, right? So you have ciliary muscles on both ends, on both the sides, the lens is actually attached to the ciliary muscles. Now these muscles will contract. Now when these muscles contract, what happens? The lens become thinner because when the ciliary muscles will contract, so they will also try to contract the lens. So the lens will become thinner and the focal length will increase. That is the point focus where the rays of light will meet. So that is the point. That point is called focus. So this point is focus. So basically the focal length, so the distance of this point from the center of the lens is called focal length. So the focal length will increase in that case. And as a result, the image will be formed on the retina. Now what happens when we see a nearby object? In case of a nearby object, as you can see, the lens now is like quite bulged. It has spread out. How did it spread out? Because the ciliary muscles have expanded. So the ciliary muscles expand like this. And when they expand, the lens also expand. When the lens expand, what happens? The distance of 
the focus from the lens reduces so the focal length is decreased so this is how the focal length of the lens can be increased or decreased when we are looking at uh, objects at different positions and this ability of the lens is known as power of accommodation that is it is the power of the lens to accommodate uh, looking at different objects so that is why it is termed power of accommodation thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.